Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be speaking about my space um, and what I'm doing with my space, how my space came about and yeah, let's get right into the video. This space was actually given to me by my dad. Um, it was his old office. I have the opportunity to use this space for what I'd like to use it for now that he's no longer using it. And I decided to renovate the space. <sighs> the space is for me to use creatively. Um, I actually had the opportunity to make it the way I want it. To, to be made I want it to how I want it to look and my dad so kindly ever so kindly uh, gave it to me and just told me to you know I can do whatever I wish with it and that was just really heartwarming because I can do like my creative stuff in just a comfortable space in the space that I created that I can make you know comfortable for me to create for me to unleash all the ideas that I have in my head and make it a reality so he kind of made that possible for me and gave me the chance to create a space that I'm able to use for what I personally want to use it for and obviously this kind of content that I want to produce for you guys right now I'm obviously not in the space I am at home I am in my room and that is because the door is shattered I'll put a picture right here the door is actually shattered I don't know how it shattered but one day we saw it and the glass was broken so it's a double um, it's double glazed so luckily it's double glazed so that it's just one side of the glazing that's shattered so I'm able to manage it for now and still um, lock the door but if anything scratches or accidentally hits the glass of that door is basically we're finished basically so I can only mainly use it right now in the daytime or in the morning where um, I can get natural lighting and when I can open the door wide um, because right now for example I can't use this lighting in that space because the amp is too much for the electricity that is tunneled through to that space so it's only a certain amount that I can, certain amount of electric, electricity that I can use. Um, and plus right now, because it's winter time, I can't use the heater and lighting at the same time. I have to switch between the two. Um, so yeah, it's just not convenient right now. And that is basically why. And also it's because it's cold. So I would need the heater and I would need the lighting and um, I have to shut the door so but if it's during the day I can manage you know have the door open and get the daylight in, in even though there's there is a window there as well but um, having a door open just lets more natural light into the space and that's what I like to work with most of the time anyway um, to create what I want to create and also at this time it was during lockdown so I wanted to separate work life um, and obviously sleep life and sleeping well and having that separation between um yeah my personal life and work life so that was a space that i kind of dedicated to work and what i personally want to create and my personal projects and so on and so forth now the financial aspect the money aspect this part um, under normal circumstances, under normal circumstances, I would be starting the renovation with a decent amount, you know, available to use to spend for this renovation. But me being me, you know, I just, sometimes you just need to take risks in this life and you need to just, because when I have something, something, when I have something in my head, when I have something in my head, I just need to somehow 
start and get it out of my head and know that I've started so that like that's one step that I've done and then the next step and then the next step so that is that was my approach to this project this renovation project so I started with probably less than 700 pound in my account and I said yeah I'm gonna do the floors I'm gonna take the walls down I'm gonna get a new door I'm gonna get new furniture all this stuff I'm gonna get new equipment all this stuff costs money okay all this stuff <laughs> all this stuff that I want okay costs money right so with less than 700 pound in my account i obviously started the floor renovation and i took it upon myself to get new floors and to um, get someone to do the floors for me and guess what i was going to do before that initial thought process even happened guess what i was going to do i was going to learn how to fix floors i was literally going to learn i was literally literally going to learn how to fix laminated floors and I think I watched like a video or two and I was like, mm, yeah, no, mm -mm. it's not, it's not a bit of me. It's not a bit of me. And I don't think I can tackle that kind of thing and get the results that I want, uh, that I need, right? So I obviously had to get someone else to do the floors for me. That was another expense. But anyway, this, this whole thing, I would hopefully do another video on how much I spent um, during each process so stay tuned for that so I basically started this with not a lot in the account and a lot of ideas that I wanted to make happen a lot of things that I wanted to do to this to the space a lot of design ideas that I wanted to do to the space a lot of furniture that I wanted to bring into the space and because I wanted it to be multifunctional I wanted it to obviously be a space where I can do different stuff and um, invite friends and do shoots for other people do shoots for myself just do different stuff in general and make it like a fun space you know a fun but functional space there was a lot of things or there is still a lot of things that i need to take into into consideration like storage for example because it's just like one box space i need to figure out how i'm going to like separate the different things that i want in the space so okay for example if it's a clothing rail that i want that needs to be positioned in a way that it's just not in the way um if it's like a, a projector that i want that needs to be for one wall one whole wall that i can use to watch films to watch movies to watch whatever i want to watch um if it's friends that i want to have over just to like watch movies like I said or even play games whatever I want it to be there needs to be seating for them they, they, they need to feel comfortable you know I need to feel comfortable um, so the kind of sofa that I get the kind of cushions that I get the color of the walls that I want to do um, do what kind of style interior do I want to do and that's another thing actually as well during the lockdown I wanted to learn something else or get myself involved in something else um, within design so starting this project I was like learning more and liking more of the interior design aspect of things so yeah I was just more intrigued I wanted to learn more and know more about that industry and how I can get involved and like I've seen or like I've heard anyway you always need to start with your own space when it comes to interior design start with the small space that you have and figure out how you can do it and how you can play around with what you have basically I obviously took it up a notch and um yeah I want things that I don't have <laughs> that's basically yeah that's basically um what it is like I, I desire for this space to look the way I want it to look with the things that I don't have currently at the moment so the process is still processing we're still processing and we're still in this you know step by step thing of getting furniture in of deciding um, what I want where I want it 
and yeah it's just a lot of things that I'm still trying to figure out and the reason why I'm still trying to figure out figure it out is because I obviously haven't got the budget for what I want at the moment so I'm still kind of like seeing or sieving you know what exactly I need right now what exactly I need to buy or what exactly I need to get for this space to work for what I want it to work for and I started with the floors because the floors was just shockingly shockingly terrible like they had to go and that was my first step um, with the renovation process the floors needed to go and I needed fresh floors I needed new floors and um, that was kind of a quick decision in terms of literally going to um, was it Wix yeah I think I think it was Wix Wix or B&Q going to one of them and figuring out the color the texture that I want on the floors because I went with the builder and he was going to do the job on that day so yeah that was a quick decision but um, I think the floors that I have now I think they work well and they make the space look bigger as well because they're nice and light what I plan to use the space to do is to actually do photo shoots to do video shoots and to host friends and to um, kind of just open my brain a little bit more I think like working with me I need to work in different areas work in different spaces um, or work with different people or work on different projects because I start to just get bored of the same thing over and over and over again and I'm just not seeing what I need to see so yeah with me it was just like a change of scenery okay how can I um, express myself even more how can I be more creative how can I express what I'm trying to express properly you know and efficiently that was kind of my whole like reason why I decided to take this renovation project on myself and figure out what are the things that I can do with the space and how can I make it multifunctional because even though it's a small space I still want to get as much use as I can out of it every time I walk into that room I want to know that oh today or I want to think about the different things that I can do on that day so when I walk into the space, I want to be like, oh, okay, let me start with this. And then next two hours, oh, I can jump over here and do this. Oh, next three hours, I can, you know, just different things that I can do um, and make, make the space kind of work for me. The design is not the issue at all. I've figured out how I want it to be, how I want it to look, how I want it to feel. And when I'm creating and it's literally just waiting now <laughs> accumulating the funds to actually create the space that i want to create so far without actually getting all the things that i want or getting all the things that i need for this space i've actually had some really cool shoots like some really cool projects that i've worked on even without starting the renovation project my um a family friend a family friend of mine actually allowed me to take some photos for her birthday and that was the first ever time I had used the space for a photo shoot and I was just like this is the start of you know something there's something happening now there's something happening in this space and it's actually working for this purpose even though one of my light bulbs blew out <laughs> it was still a successful photo shoot and uh, she really did like the photos and her mom liked the photos and yeah with that being said I was just like okay this is the start let me actually take this seriously and let me start renovating this this space let me see what I can do and let me um, just start using even if it's one pound just start accumulating you know the funds that I need to start even if it does not finish the project at least just to start um, because if I didn't start 
I know for a fact I would still be sitting here saying oh I'm going to oh I'm going to oh I'm going to and it's just like damn you just start you know up until you actually get that 5k or up until you actually get that 10k sitting in your account you won't start anything you'll just be like okay yeah when I get to 10k when I get to 5k when I get to 2k but when like you don't know when you're going to get there so I'm just like let me just start you know let me just use what I have and um, start renovating the space so that's what I done another great shoot that I had was with a friend of mine who was launching a bag business and um, hopefully I'll be able to insert some photos that I've done Again, during the lockdown, I wanted to try something new. I wanted to try, see what I can do with product photography. I wanted to see if I can do that. If, like, you know, what can you do? Right now, you're sitting at home, you're not, you're not doing much. See what you can do and see if I can actually be decent at this. You know, I told her and I said, I wanna help you out. I wanna see what I can do to help you out with this brand she literally just started and i just said yeah let's do this let's work on this together it was so much fun like it was so much fun working on this project the reason why i'm telling you guys this is because i want you to follow me on this journey to renovating this small space um this is a start you know stop this could be the start of something new anyway um yeah no this is the start of something new and just sharing this with you guys because i love watching videos like this on youtube i love seeing the process um i love being a part of the process i'm starting small <laughs> with one room <laughs> um but yeah it's a start and I'm excited. I'm excited to start on this showing you around how I design, how I think. This is what I am trying to focus on. This is going to be ongoing. This is personal to me. This is, you know, this has started since January. I made it, you know, public. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow um, at o.o. .o dot design triple o design i have been silent on that page for a while now but i'm coming back coming back soon coming back strong okay so okay guys i don't know what my camera is doing but i don't want to talk too much now because it might just disappear on me um but yeah anyway follow me on this journey this is triple o design this is big big energy coming out right now yeah no Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of the process. And this is just the beginning. You know, big, big things are gone. Big, big things coming soon. You know what I mean? Don't watch that. But yeah, follow me on the gram at miss.o.o.o. Miss Triple O. And at o.o.o dot design triple o design thank you again and i will see you next week saturday i am posting every saturday so saturday evening what are you doing you are going to go to youtube 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 and type in triple o saturday evening you know what to do you know what to do saturday evening a video will hopefully drop on my youtube channel so be on alert be on the lookout for that every saturday thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you next week bye subscribe 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 <laughs>